Frustration there by Oliver as he tossed his headgear off towards the bench and quickly shook Rivera's hand. But Oliver just didn't look right there in that match. Yeah, and he hasn't looked right either. He didn't look great in the Manu match last week. And it's just kind of becoming a dangerous trend for Oliver right now, especially at this point in the season. Yeah, now it's now his third consecutive loss, all to ranked opponents as far as we head to the 133 matchup between Garrett Peppel and Colvin Valde Valdivias. Now, Peppel is a redshirt sophomore from Kendallville, Indiana, at East Noble High School. He's 12 and 15 on the year, including six and nine in duels. And he takes on Valdivias, who is a true freshman from Lee's Summit, Missouri, at Rockhurst High School, who's 14 and 12 on the year. And Garrett Peppel had a tough go of it last weekend, as did almost all the Hoosiers, as he lost both decisions against Illinois and Purdue, again against a couple of ranked wrestlers. In fact, last time against Purdue, the only victory scored by the Hoosiers was by, at 184 pounds by Norman Conley. Yeah, Norman Conley has been a nice surprise for the Hoosiers. He's been wrestling a lot better of late. was able to get that big one against Purdue last weekend. Yeah, in fact, of the three victories Indiana has scored in their last two matches, two of them have been by Norman Conley. Pebbles was trying to go for a little bit of a leg sweep there, but it's kind of tough when both legs are are uh, flat on the ground for the opponent. Yeah, Valdivia is not giving him an inch right now as he's able to slip out of there. Now, Peppel has f does have five pins to his credit on the season, which is third on the team, trailing only Cole Weaver and Devin Skatska. Yeah, and there's no shame trailing Weaver and Skatska. They've been the most consistent wrestlers for the Hoosiers all season long. And Peppel's really coming into his own as his uh, second full season with the Hoosiers. Right now holding Valdivias to a stalemate at the moment. Valdivias chose Northwestern over Missouri. He went 13-4 and four last season as a first year. And Valdivias, according to, to track wrestling, is ranked 25th. And as he gets the two-point takedown on Peppel and trying to get an arm around the neck there and trying to look like fit, flip him on his back, but Peppel able to react quickly and get, get down his stomach. Now he tries and is reverse it onto Valdivias as he's got both legs in his he's grip. Gotta, he's got to break. Valdivias has his leg, though. He's got to break free of it and circle around to get the reversal. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to do it. Yeah, because Valdivia's reestablished position and grabs Peppel's leg and now tries to bury his head into the mat. Down, mat. Yeah, that was a good call there from the ref. There wasn't much going to come out of that as we see a replay of the takedown. Very good takedown there from Valdivia's. He just seemed to overpower Peppel as he took him to the mat. That time. Yeah, he puts his shoulder blades on the mat as we're going to throw a, oh, a challenge there from Dwayne Goldman. He thinks uh, Peppel should have been award reversal. And we'll. I don't know, there's nothing that I saw out of that that would have awarded it. Yeah, I'd be a little, I, you know, I don't think he broke free of the leg. Yeah, I'd, I'd be a little surprised if Indiana was, would be rewarded with points after this challenge here, but I've yeah. seen stranger things happen in the wrestling mat. Interesting move to challenge that one from Dwayne Goldman, but we'll see if he saw something that we didn't from this angle. And as we saw, Goldman threw out the, the red cube, and it looks like Peppel and. Valdivia is going to use this opportunity to get a little bit of extra coaching in. Pebble getting from Escobedo and now from assistant coach Angel Escobedo and now coach Dwayne Goldman. As it'll cost her a little bit of a reset here. Maybe get Pebble to regain a little bit of momentum or create some momentum here. Here, just trying to get a reset, to think some things through, have some time to process what's going on. Let's see, we've completed the replay, the official speaking with Coach Goldman about, about his decision. It does not look like Peppel's going to award the points, and Goldman just saunters over to the bench. Yeah, Coach oh, Goldman didn't uh, seem too upset with that one. Maybe he knew that that was a little bit of a long shot to get. Definitely a curious choice to challenge that one, though. Well, we've lost eight meets in a row like Indiana has. Look for any kind of advantage you can get. Well, Peppel's able to get a quick escape here that would maybe make the challenge successful. 
but Valdivia is not giving him that opportunity as he immediately wraps both of his legs around one of Pepple's as Pepple tries to slip out, but it's having nothing, nothing going as we end the first period. As uh, Pepple's going to defer here, so Valdivia's will start down. Right now, 43 seconds of riding time for Valdivia, so, not, so something that Pebble can really eat into and try and help his score later on. Yeah, Pebble needs a takedown, though, to, or some back points to really make that a factor, though. It doesn't help him too much if he just builds up some riding time here but doesn't get any extra points out of it. Yeah, very true there, and as it looks like Valdivia is, is, might be have, have a shot of slipping out, and they're going to roll around on, on their backs and back onto this front. He's got uh, Pebble's arm crossed, crossed under him right now to really keep Pebble from doing anything. They're going to call stalemate. They're going to call stalemate. They're going to return to the center. Good job by Pebble leaving, keep, keeping his grip there, but as you mentioned, it's not going to help him a whole lot unless he gets a takedown. Yeah, got to turn him and try to get some back points here. Because he didn't show that show much of an ability to escape during the first period. Which he'll likely have to do in the third period. As Valdi is trying to caveman stand up right now. Looks like Pebble's got his uh, Pebble's got his leg. got his hands locked. And that, that's key to keep Valvidez from really getting that full escape as he's trying to get him back to the mat. Yeah, it's preventing him from straightening his torso, allowing him to stand up and, tr and uh, really establish a firm position. It's like Pebble's thorn, pretty much throwing his whole weight down there on to uh, Which Valdivius. is what you want to do when you're on top. You're trying to wear the other wrestler down by just throwing your weight onto him as much as you can and trying to build up some riding time. Now Pebble's got an arm, Valdivia, as Ryan Time's completely flipped in his favor, now approaching 45 seconds in favor of Pebble. 30 seconds from now the period, 30. Pebble's trying to get those hands locked again. That's really where he's been successful in this period. Now instead he's holding the wrist. And Valdivia's just trying to flip Pe Pebble back onto, it, onto his shoulder blades. Pebble was up. really close there to getting some back points, but was unable to keep Valdivia's still long enough. Valdivia's gonna try again to stand, this time Pebble goes back for the ankle as the second period comes to a close, and there's now over a minute in riding time in favor of Garrett Pebble. Valdivia's kept going for that caveman stand-up where you get on all fours, but Pebble was doing a really good job of countering that by locking the hands and just really bringing it in tight. They're keeping Valdivia's from, as you said, straightening up his torso. I wonder why, Val, why Valdivia's didn't try a different method to try to stand up at that point. Maybe if there was another reset, he would have tried a quick release, but it it just was interesting there from Valdivia's. Now Valdivia is going to be in the bottom position as Preble returns to what he was so successful at in the second period and in, in, uh, trying to establish some riding time over Valdivia's. Yeah, interesting though that Valdivia is going to start down again here. That Pepe wanted to be on top because he, unless you get some back points here, you're not going to win this match if you're Pepe. I wonder if Pepe is confident in his ability to get it though. As he, he he got really close at the end of that second period, but Valdivia is bent and didn't break. Perhaps he sees an, he might see an opening and an opportunity to score a victory, which he has not recorded since he was able to pin Nebraska's Brian Pesca in a minute 56. Since then, he's lost to Dylan Duncan of Illinois and Ben Thornton of Purdue. Pepple just trying to wear down Valdivia's right now. That's really what he's been going for for really a period and a half now. And now just under one minute remaining in he's the going, third period. He's going for a cradle right now. I don't know if he's going to get it there out of the backpack. Yeah, it looks like Valdivia's is, that was a pretty firm, firm base as the official calls for a stalemate. About two and a half minutes of riding time in favor of Garrett Pepple, looking to try to have that add to his score. And if he, if he can score an escape or a takedown real quick, he, he could sneak away with a victory. And that would be really big momentum for Indiana here to try to get a one on the board. Just trying to turn the tide a little bit after a really rough weekend last weekend. Going straight for the cradle.
Yeah, last weekend, Indiana did not get off to a hot start at all in either of the two matches. In fact, the earliest that they scored any points was at the 174-pound marker. So they're going to look to try and is trying to get on the board a little sooner, especially after an early pin. Yeah, and against Purdue, they had some chances. Papa was really close, losing 3-2. Elijah Oliver had an early lead, but didn't close it out. And Cole Weaver also had a really tough loss. So Indiana's getting close, but they can't, especially at these lower weights, they're getting close, but they can't can't break through, to use a football term, but, <laughs> but uh, and get a big early win to get some momentum as he goes for a quick shot here. And about 15 seconds after Ames remaining, that's really all, all he had as an opportunity. And he's got about three minutes of riding time, which is about a point there for him. Yeah, he, he gave him, he gave uh, Valdivia's the, uh, the escape so that he could try to get a quick takedown, kind of giving up that he was going to turn him and needed the takedown. The tie, unable to do that with a shot, a really good sprawl, and request from Lee 